you did children and folks, I hope you guys are doing swell today. So for today's video, I'm going to be overviewing three characters that have been updated with the new 1.05 update in Tekken 8. Now, those three characters will be Claudio, Kazuya, and Yoshimitsu. Now, the reason why is because these are the characters that I like the most right now. And since I already managed to reach Bushin with Claudio, Tekken King with Yoshimitsu, and I'm currently working with reaching Bushin with Kazuya next. So let's get to exactly what they changed with these three characters. So with Claudio, they have given him a new Super Tornado, as I like to call it, or a Aerial Tailspin that you can do with 212. Now, in general, I think that this is definitely a good update with Claudio's kit because he felt like he was a little bland in, as to how he performed his combos, and now he has a little more flair that he can do with his 2-1-2, besides just using it as a form of neutral poking or to try to get the last hit to go into the heat engager. But now you can do the what I call a super tornado if the opponent is launched. Now, if you don't have Starburst enabled with Claudio, the move itself isn't all that big of a deal really, unless let's say you're near the wall and you want to finish the opponent with a 2-1-2, and you may have enough time to then perform something right afterwards. So I will give you an example as to what that is later on in the video. So besides that, if you do have Starburst with Claudio, you have enough time to then continue with your combo. The other thing that they've also tried to fixate with Claudio is fixing his forward 2 2, hitting while on a counter hit from 4 4 4. This used to whiff. Now they kind of fix it so where on certain characters, and depending on the distance reaching with 4 4 4, you can then actually then hit the opponent with forward 2 2 to get the starburst. Of course, there's other miscellaneous type of changes that they've done to Claudio that I don't really feel that I need to basically give you guys any real updates to because they're not really big updates to Claudio besides the 212 change. So for now, I'm just going to showcase some of the things you can do with this new 212 Super Tornado that you can do against an opponent when going for a launch. So that's about all that I can find out with Claudio as to what he can essentially do with 212 with Starburst. Again, you really don't have much options what you can do without having Starburst and doing 212 as one of your starter combos. But what I do understand is this Claudio with 212 with Starburst does more damage now than he has done before without this particular new unique change to his kit. So the one drawback that Claudio had in the center stage was that he lacked damage. He didn't really do as much damage as other characters that required a little bit more finesse but still performed far better than Claudio ever did. But now with the new 212 Super Tornado, with Starburst that is, or if you have Heat enabled, he does more damage in the center stage. Now of course his wall game is still far better than it was without the you know the new 212 unique change 
but now with that you can still have some level of performing even bigger damaging combos with the 212 at the wall. So Claudio may end up being one of the heavy hitting characters in this game now. With Kazuya, the biggest overall change that they had done to him is that for one, his down forward one, it has a it has better reach than it did before. This also includes the down forward one with the down forward two. The down forward two on the last hit has better tracking. So in certain situations where the combos would end up whiffing, that when using down forward one and down forward two, depending on how off axis you are in your combos, now they have a better chance of actually landing against the opponent. So with down forward one into four, in the other hand, this gives you this now. It used to give you plus 18 and the opponent was still standing. But now if you perform down forward one into four, you get a guaranteed follow up now. So by reforming down forward one into four, you can at least get steel pedal from Kazuya with forward forward four. Another move that they have essentially given to Kazuya, what they essentially either buffed and nerfed, is his CD one plus two. Now this move on counter hit used to launch. It no longer gives you the launch. But what they have instead given him was that on block, the move is now plus five. So you can now frame trap with this particular move. And the great thing about this move is, is that a lot of Kazuya's openers or moves that he tried to use to engage the opponent weren't really all that great. But now he has a definitive means to push in the opponent by simply either wave dashing against the opponent and then go into one plus two from CD and go into plus five. So you don't only have to use a say go into this into forward four to try to basically go into some frame traps now you can do it from the neutral and be plus five so this is a big change while also being a big nerf but i feel like this particular change is better for kazuya as the overall counter hitting option that it did have wasn't all that imperative for kazuya it didn't really give him much options besides seeing that it already had a lot of counter hitting options that he can already use so losing this one isn't really a big deal in fact i feel like what they did to, to the move is far better other big changes is that while he's in devil form moves like 442 that goes into a hit grab now if you hold back it doesn't initiate the hit grab this also includes moves like your c3 by holding back, it doesn't go into the immediate hit grab. Of course, if you just let go without pressing back, it goes immediately into the hit grab. Other big changes is that they also made it so that while he's doing these moves, like in the case of 442, CD3, and even, uh, I believe even CD1, no longer goes into hit grab, but it also reduced heavily the amount of heat consumption when using these moves. So you no longer have to worry when using these particular moves that you'll end up using a lot of your heat. Of course, if you're going to go for electrics with Kazuya, they still expend the same amount of heat consumption, but at least with these moves, you don't have to force yourself to go into the hit grab if you don't want to, if you want to save up your heat for more important moves in his kit. And like I mentioned, when it comes to Kazuya's combos, they have become a lot more efficient to pull off. So it's a lot easier to perform that particular type of combo against many characters. You don't have to worry about it falling off because you didn't put, perform it in a weird angle or you had to wait for the opponent to somehow hit the ground first or some shit like that. You don't have to worry about that. So this particular staple, you can now do. But besides that, overall, they have managed to make it easier to perform his usual B and Bs with this particular type with using down forward one into down forward two. Other moves what they have managed to buff also is his back two two into one plus two. You can now combo into this particular type of string with back two two into one plus two. Before you weren't able to do this. There are other particular types of changes that they've done to Kazuya, but I'm not going to talk about them as I believe somebody who is more familiar with Kazuya and is a actual Kazuya connoisseur would probably tell you more about the character than me. 
Now to the actual main character of this video. Yoshimitsu has received a ton of new things that he can now do with the added move changes that they have given to him in this new patch. Now for example, they have managed to give him the properties of doing Indian stand faster from crouching. And you can also perform this one frame faster while you're in your dragonfly stance. The other biggest trait also is that while you're doing your full crouch on Fort 4, you can also go into your Indian stance immediately by pressing down into 3 plus 4. This also includes if you're doing Indian Sense into 4 and then pressing down into 3 plus 4. And then the great thing they have also changed is that while he's in his Indian Stance and decides to do his 3 plus 4, his 3 plus 4 now is a homing move. So that is another new change that they had done to Yoshimitsu as well, which is a great change. They've also managed to buff moves like Kensho into forward 1 and Kensho into forward 1 into hold. Where in some scenarios when you try to land this move, the overall like range or the how exactly the hitbox of the move, it will kind of de-extend itself. I don't know if that's the right word to use, but essentially it makes it so that if you're hitting the opponent with this move, there are times that they can get away from getting hit by the move. So they made it easier to where the move now reaches towards the opponent and kind of vacuums in, or at least it makes it so that the hits actually continue to land if you hit them with the full charge up version of Kensho Ford 1. They've also brought back one of his key moves in Tekken 7 or in other previous games, which I'm not completely sure if he had it, but I know in Tekken 7 he used to have a cancel from Kensho down 1. Now, they brought it back in this new update, where you press down back and you can cancel out of the move and stay crouching. You can also do this while in your no sword stance. So this has a lot of implications, so where if you perform this move, and let's say you are crouching and they are thinking they're gonna go for the low, you can go for your wall sending 2-1 to launch him. Or if you don't want to get launched yourself, if they do see the incoming move, you can then decide to go for a hot pick instead. But what also you can do is that if you do this move and cancel it, you can even set up for samurai cutter setups. So it has a lot of strong implications when using this particular type of cancel. They also made it so that while the Indian stands year 2, now extends further. So they kind of like buff the range as to how it extends. So you don't have to worry about whiffing at times, but it's not really a big buff, but it is a definite quality of life change or addition to this particular move. Another thing also is that while doing your Dragonfly into one, it now tracks a little better and it does a little bit more damage. Another type of big change is that while you're in your heat state, a lot of your moves that consume heat, like in the case of Dragonfly 4 1 plus 2, is heavily reduced. So before, you're able to do at least 4 or 5 of these forward 1 plus 2 and Dragonfly stance. Now you can do about 6, almost 7. This is also included with your Dragonfly into 1 as well. Now in terms of what he can do now with the new changes with this Indian stance is something like this. If you were to see exactly how much damage he does when performing this new type of combo, this is how much damage he does. He gets 68. The usual B&B combo you do from a counter hitting full crash on Ford 4 is usually this. Now the damage coming from this is not as high in comparison to the other one, but it's still so experimental so we have to see exactly what other Yoshimitsu mains can figure out. But this is something that was already figured out by most of the Yoshimitsu community. So 
So there really isn't huge changes anymore with his kit, besides the fact that they made some bug fixes, for example when he does 4 4 1 plus 2 and does down 1, at times he won't get the down 1, he'll just get this version. He'll get that attack. So they kind of fixed that particular problem with Yoshimitsu. And yeah, I think that's really all it is. There's probably a lot of other things that they may have changed with, with Yoshimitsu that I have not already posted into this video. But essentially, Yoshimitsu has received some new mix-up options that he can perform and has received some old mix-up options for the Kencho Down 1 cancels and with new combo routes with the full crouch down forward 4 counter hit with the Indian stance into 3 uh, plus 4. He is now a little bit more versatile in the game than he was before at the start of the release of the game. So besides that, there's nothing else that I can cover into this video. Of course, if you want to see other particular characters, you might as well just look at YouTube and find somebody who may be covering your favorite character. So if you guys like what you watched, subscribe to receive more of my shit, like the video, hit the notification bell, and yeah, stay tuned.